Leeds United have made a great start to 2024. Played three, won three, scored nine, conceded none. But that run has got to be kept going here this Sunday lunchtime against Preston North End. The pressure is on to stay in touch with the top three. Leeds United's team is unchanged from the side that started against Cardiff City last weekend. Whiteman goes wide. Heads up at the far post, still alive in the area. Leeds have got a defender as the shot goes into the back of the net. And Preston North End take a very early lead here. Will Keane turns it in, Miller's shot goalwards. And Leeds United undone in the opening seconds of this game at Ellen Road. It's Leeds nil, Preston North End 1. Well, we were certainly made to pay for some sloppy play in our own half. Get the free kick away. Header back is a good one, but after that, we really should be doing a lot better. And a scuff shot goes straight to Will Keane. He's been in great goal scoring form recently, but he won't score an easier one than that one. Just gets a touch. And in it goes. Now then, Somerville has Furpo running out wide. Oh, he's overhit the pass. Furpo's going to try and get to it, and he does. He does really well. Into middle. There's the equaliser. And it's Dan James with the head again. Great cross in from Furpo and James, right time, right place, great finish. Leeds quickly level, 1-1. One, one. Of course we are, we're back. Amazing how many times we strike back so very quickly. And all started with Ida Gruev turning out, playing it to the left-hand side. The ball, you're right, was a, a little over hit, but not too much. Furpo digs it out, get it to the back post, just hoping someone's there. And of course, there is Stan James flying in, good header. Scored a few header goals now, but that one's so important. Kamara's caught, and now. Preston win possession back with Keane, and then it's played for Miller. Miller's into the penalty area and shoots and Melier makes an excellent fingertip save to keep that one out the back of the net. Full stretch pushes it over. Certainly needed to as well. That was heading to the top corner, but we can see Archie Gray was pushing on, thinking we got good possession. Well, we hadn't. When we lost it, he's slightly out of position. Angles a tight one, goes to the near top corner, but a good save. Ampadu, lovely ball to Bamford. Can he get round the defender? Oh, Bamford's in on the vital touch as Cornell came, took it round the keeper, but unfortunately took the ball out as well. Oh, really good. Chasing and closing down. The ball comes in, touches it a little heavy, but he still tries to get there, sees where the centre half is going to nod the ball back, but so very close of getting another good opportunity. Great ball for Dan James on the byline. Cuts the ball back into the middle. Bamford's header goalwards. Directed it really well away from the goalkeeper. But not quite enough power. And Cornell was able to move across his line and keep that one out. Really good play all round, wasn't it? Grew to road on down the right-hand side and then just get it in that box. Can you find your striker? Well, he could. Good header. Not easy. He's coming away from goal, but gets good power and direction on it. Popo into Somerville. Back he comes to Furpo and Somerville once more skips away from the challenge and plays it to the byline, into the penalty area, goes still towards goal, cuts it back, Jorginho! And that was so close, did it even perhaps brush the outside of the post from Jorginho from close range? Wonderful work by Somerville to set him up. Oh, I think so, what about this little flick over story, see you later. And here's another one, which way do you think I'm going? Not that way. Holds it back and Jorginho right foot come at him I suppose pretty quickly just had to try and get it on target but post outside of it 
just unfortunately didn't go in. Ampadu plays a ball forward and James Cornell's come out of the penalty area and he hasn't got there. James on the edge to Bamford to shoot towards an open goal. Open until the defender Liam Lindsay got across and cleared it as it was heading in and it goes behind for a corner. How bizarre, how bizarre. The ball from Ampadu. Defenders, what are they doing? Keeper wasn't getting there. Of course, James, very quick. Almost, almost got Bamford. Not the easiest chances with his right foot, though. James bursts through the middle. Laid on by Bamford. Tries the little chip and is too much in it. Well, it was a really nice idea. Just not quite the execution required to get it underneath the crossbar. He's done really well because I actually thought with the pace that he was, he just controlled himself and thought, right, can I just dink it over? And couldn't get it to fall and drop in the goal, but good effort. Somerville gives it back to Furpo, back to Somerville. Somerville's tight to the touchline, lovely dragged pass to Furpo to make space. Furpo into the box, gets it back into the middle. Oh, it's dropped by the keeper, and he's fallen on it a second time with Bamford ready to just stab it in. And Cornell gets away with that one big time. Somerville, stop it. What about that flick? Absolutely brilliant. And Furpo just takes his time, couldn't quite then get the ball across, apart from a deflection, but keeper makes a bit of a mess of it. So Byron on for Junior Furpo. He's had uh, a decent game. Kamara off as well. And Peru, a more attacking player. Just having a chat there with uh, Jorginho to work out what formation we're going to play. Somerville is pursued by yellow shirts again. Now works it wide well to Dan James, right side of the penalty area. James cuts in, low shot, goalwards! It's off the defender and it's dropped over the crossbar. The goalkeeper already committed, could have gone anywhere, goes behind for a corner. Oh, lucky, Lindsay gets a touch on it. Could have gone absolutely anywhere, gets enough of a touch to get it up and over. Into the middle it comes, Rodon can't get up there. James underneath it with a header down, straight up in the air from Leds on the edge of the box. Handball! Oh, Had to be handball oh. penalty to Leeds United. The arm went out, the ball hit the hand, and the referee points to the spot. So, inside added time, Leeds presented with a huge opportunity. Well, it was clear, wasn't it? Surely clear. Absolutely. Rodon does well, just get a touch on it. And Ledson, you can see him trying to pull his hand out afterwards. Why he's now complaining, I have no idea, but that, my friend, is handball. Peru steps back to the edge of the penalty area. Cornell back on his line. Peru awaits the signal, gets the signal. Peru for Leeds United, steps up and drives yes! the ball yes! into yes! the back of the net! Leeds United are finally in front in this game. Piru with the penalty. Ellen Road erupts. It's Leeds United 2, Preston North End 1. And deservedly so. Finally, we find the breakthrough. And good to see players, Rodon especially, on the pitch, sorting out the penalty taker. We get the right man and he sticks it away. Joel Piru. Excellent, excellent penalty. Cornell takes it, delivers it, like to the edge of the penalty area, it goes over everybody, 
and Rodon will chase it out and then he'll just put it into the stand and that's it! Leeds left it very, very late but that doesn't matter because Leeds United have come through and have won this game by two goals to one and three more very important points are added to the total. Peru, the hero of the hour, as he stepped up for a pressure penalty and he finished it with a plum to ensure that Leeds came through. Full-time scoreline here at Ellen Road. It's finished. Leeds United 2, Preston North End 1. Well, last gasp, but it doesn't matter. We certainly deserved it. Second half were by far the better side, but could not find the breakthrough. First seven, eight minutes of that second half, I thought we started extremely well, really put Preston on the back foot, but couldn't get that goal, and then all sorts of shenanigans referee let so much go but we kept our heads kept patient and eventually we got our award it's a, a brilliant under pressure penalty from peru and brent we take all three points